try it again check one check two check three all those reactors rather melted can somebody tell me if my audio is actually working this was crazy i had to restart everything at the last minute wouldn't accept the stream or nothing such is life such is life anybody stream audio is working here we go should be able to tell in a second we'll get started hi phoenix uh, A-M-H-S-U-K-U-F. Hi, Christopher, Sylvia, Mark. Is my audio. It usually takes about 20 seconds, folks. Sorry about the delay. Sorry about the first minute. Starting off a bit slow. Good, good. Okay, we're good. So we got a rather interesting one tonight. Excuse me. We got a pretty interesting one tonight. We got... Got to bring up the folder... And we're going to get all, all of that. Uh, this was Natural News had put out an article, and the long story short was a couple of the useful blogs had come out and attacked that story. Now, because um, my computer didn't do what it was supposed to do originally, i got to scroll down, so it might be a bit of a delay in a second here. i got to reset this page here so that, because i got everything imported into this, and I had to restart it, and I got a couple of hundred uh, captures and pictures already in this. So. Computer settled down, and so the story goes. Thank you. Wait. I know for you, but I see busy. Um, I left a message to Atkins. Can uh, get in contact with me interview. And I appreciate that. Really part. I'm looking forward to that. We're we're looking pretty good here. Looking pretty and buying uh, Maggie on buying with a story and I'll get to all of that. Sounds good, Kathy. Hi Kathy. Working hard. I've broken out. Hi, everybody. I could actually spend the next hour with everybody pretty easy. So, my voice is matching up to the much stuttering in the picture. Uh, the dispersal you're looking at right now is the air falls across the Pacific Ocean. And since uh, two days now, I had 30, but now I got 130 headlines. In the last days, from the first year of Fukushima and the second year of Fukushima, from mainstream media, like every other night, these are pretty impressive headlines. I'm all of that in a, a little bit all over because I had to restart everything at the last minute, and that's okay though. Picture. Um, let me come all the way and just go to town on that first. How about that? Let the stuttering stop. Everything looks normal. Yeah, tonight. Like I said, everything. Jump. I know, bro. Glitchy. Yeah, when I move way down, a pictures in the wire caster. Bit of stuttering. Is that fixed now? We'll just go ahead. We'll go ahead and I'll try to keep an eye on what you're talking oh. audio skipping. That's not good. Sometimes when you got a high picture, these wire can handle too quickly of a picture. Finally, get back to normal. Anybody? Glitchy, glitchy. Damn it. Yeah. Is it still bad? Is it still bad?
son of a gun. Looks like it's settling down. That's too bad. I have to put an annotation at the beginning. So. It was having its moment. Sounds like it kind of glitches again. Losing words. Okay. You took to learn how to listen to I'll restart. I have to restart. It'll be like four minutes of the video before we get to video in the night. I don't know. We'll restart it. Going up. Nothing. Restart it. Fine in a minute. Don't go anywhere. Case. Come down, see if the comments refresh themselves. See if I came back in. I'll do what I've done the other night and I'll be playing the same stream in a moment. That is on Google sometimes. Okay, I'm going to start everything and it'll take me to get back. We'll see you in three minutes, folks. Everything settled out and we'll just leave the screen alone and we won't touch anything. I should be back online any second. So we'll be back online here for you now. We should be getting good audio. And if not, there's not much I can do. I'll try to keep doing this and over and over. And I'll take a few moments for the back up. A few moments for the to make sure I actually got out this time. If not, there's not much I can do tonight outside of uh, every uh, and the comments usually takes 30 seconds before they show up on my end after you type them. 30, 40, 50 seconds. And you can actually do that by a delay in the setting in there, but I don't have it set to do that. Anybody? Can you hear me? I'll have to put it. If we can get the stream uh, 8.49 minutes in, whatever it is. See, I'm not getting no comments, no nothing. So I don't even know if I'm streaming out. Yeah, man, I want to hear what you got going on so are we online is the question I don't know it's not updating I'll refresh the page over here on this computer and then I'll set an annotation to where it starts at the video when it pops back up not much you can do with Google that's what you gotta do sometimes you gotta restart everything yep got it Dwayne Lisa thank you yeah, and it'll show back up once it renders and pops back up. Now, I'm not going to touch anything on the thing. I had all these pictures and all these imports, but I guess one of them is too high quality. I have to gut everything and uh, just lower the quality on the pictures. Such is life. Okay, we're back running. Um, Elizabeth says, yes, it's still bad, still bad. Seems better. My phone was doing that all day. If you don't lay off the trolls, it's the five-minute mark again. So once again, I'm not sure. We're not getting no comments. I don't know what's going on. It's hellish. Way to go, Google. Why is there such a big delay all the time with my comments? I don't know. I can't ask somebody a question and wait and wait and wait. Cats Live says, good. So far, so good. Good sound now. See, all your comments showed up to one time. That's what I mean. Okay, here we go. What are you supposed to do? <sighs> okay, well, here we go. So long story short was they came out, uh, boing boing, there was a another company that I've never heard of before. And I'll, let me bring up the page. Yeah, they really bummed me tonight, didn't they? They got the bums rushed tonight. So, study, dead sea creatures cover 98% of the seafloor off the California coast, up 1% before Fukushima. That was natural news. And so what happened was um, I got a message today, and I, a link, and I went over and checked it out on my second last video. I think it was Huma again. 
And radiation, uh, Fukushima radiation fallout rumors debunked. Thank goodness. I was thrilled. Until I found out it was all yellow journalism. It was doing pretty good. And then I seen another link saying, no, Fukushima is not killing off massive qualities, quantities of sea life near California by boing boing. And both of those were by Deep Sea. They really should, uh, news. They should have changed their middle name to SCE instead of SEA. Deep Sea News, right? See deep into the sea. That would have been pretty clever. And they said, is the seafloor littered with dead animals due to radiation? No. But it's littered with dead sea monkfish. If you go over to their page and the uh, one before, that's because Santa was a pirate. And that's the banner they got on top of their page, if you don't understand where I'm coming from when I say those last couple of sentences. And Deep Sea News is, um, I'm going to put them in the same category as a pro-nuclear think tank uh, funded operation. These people are all the bootlickers. They got their pensions off uh, the working people in the country. They're government employees, basically, ex-government employees. Boing Boing is full of uh, wire wirednews.com not much credibility there but I'm not going to go after it that way at all even though that's the obvious in other words all the buying buying uh, the four buying buying co-creators I guess they are now or not co-creator but co-conspirators of keeping people in the dark it's very harmful what they got done here by putting out these headlines they're trying to indoctrinate their population and buying buying said that if anybody uh, sees a twitter or a Facebook posting, they should run over to Deep Sea News for the real truth. Don't click on that Twitter link and don't click on that Facebook link. What a creature. What kind of creature would say something like that? Don't click on a link from your friends or anybody else about Fukushima. Run straight over to Deep Sea News who don't take anything that we got here in context. So... Uh, I had all the pictures and everything lined up, and I can't do that. So let's run back over. Now, the reason that Natural News came to that conclusion is if you type in, and there's a link below to their search engine, and I typed in Fukushima, and I got 19 screen captures of the stories, the headlines from their site of uh, Fukushima, but I'm not going to touch that. Uh, what I am going to do, I'm going to take this opportunity and listen to my dog snore. It's so cute. And um, let's run back down through. Yeah, it sounds good now. That's because I'm not going to touch nothing. I won't touch no buttons on the computer until it's over. That was such a headache. Another 10 minutes of, for everybody I had to put up with. The hounds of Fukushima. My agile provocateurs. That's what you are, all of you folks. You're all very clever. Very clever. Over a thousand comments last night. I read myself to sleep and woke up reading it again this morning. And I was out watching lectures. But I'm going to digress here. June of 20, 2011, 1.6 billion Beckwolds of radioactive material released from reactor number two late Sunday, said TEPCO. 1.6 Beckwolds of radiative, radioactive material. And remember, folks, that a reactor and a nuclear fission is all done by plutonium and uranium, not cesium, not strontium, not bananas, not rocks, not the radiation you get when you're walking down the road from the sun, <laughs> but stuff that if you had a chunk of it the same size of a banana, which everybody in the scientific community, including Boing Boing and um, Deep Sea News and that other creature I'll get to after, they like to use stuff like that and uh, trick their listeners into thinking, or readers into thinking that the radiation from a, a banana, the background radiation, and there is, it's not an isotope, right? It's not, not like uranium-234, uranium-235, or neptunium-239, or plutonium-239, or iodine-129, uh, which has the lowest number, uh, 15 million year half-life times 10, so it's 150 year life because it's decay, it's in two other radioactive uh, isotopes. Uh, and then, then because it's weaponized and it's uh, went through the chain reaction fusion, it's a different type of gamma and beta and alpha particles, completely different, much more powerful, much more dangerous, much more toxic, much more 
uh, inconceivable. Now, this is where the fun begins for everybody. 10 trillion becquerels per hour of radiation currently being released from Fukushima plant researcher, August the 18th, 2011. 10 trillion becquerels per hour. Remember Ban Banana Boy yesterday where I made that video about Forbes talking about 76 uh, billion bananas has been released from Fukushima. Remember how scary people like that really are? And they got a big audience, right? Well, boing boing. And now um, they're boing boing saying everybody should run over to listen to a bunch of clowns who quote stuff from Motherboard and Huffington Post and everything else. That's, that's all these people are. They're just they're junk. They really truly are. But we're here to educate them. I shouldn't be insulting them because that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to drive them away. Too late. Oops. So 10 trillion becquerels of radiation currently being released. Okay, that was 2011. But all of western U.S., most of east coast, midwest, Canada, covered with airborne particles at various altitudes on March the 20th. That was the cover picture. The Fukushima plume model, model shows and is based solely on reactor number one explosion. Not the MOX fuel. Right? Not that uh, 2 million times more toxic than any other reactor on the planet. Mox fuel number 3 reactor. They're just talking about the number 1 explosion. So the cover picture on my video, when you first come to the video, you see it didn't show up in your subscribers box or anywhere else on my front page, is going to have a uh, picture of airborne particles all the way from the jet streams down, basically. And they covered the, the first few miles up from the ocean. And we can marry that up, because that's at the same time, as that model I got below, the, the Canadian um, Health Canada went out with their planes and found these hot buckyballs. And we call them buckyballs. There's a link below to peer review academic studies about those buckyballs, by the way. And um, the best thing to remember about that is that was only based up on one reactor, which was the smallest reactor there, uh, reactor one. Now, they didn't take into consideration the plutonium and the strontium, um, I mean the uraniums, which have a half-life of uh, uranium is 4.5 billion years, but then again, you got to multiply it by 10, so 450 billion or 45 billion years. And the plutonium, and there's all kinds of different types of it. We'll go with the 239, 24,000 year half life times 10 is 240,000 years. They do that to mar try to marginalize it, because you know, 24,000, 250,000 really doesn't matter to me, but that's it works better for when you're talking about that iodine 131. Right, which can only exist from a recent chain reaction. And so the airborne particles, like the Japanese launched balloons from Japan in uh, 1944. They went up to the jet stream, say at 100 miles an hour, 2,400 miles, and uh, 24 hours, three days later, they're on our coastline. But they were found all over Mexico. They were found all over America, as I covered many times. But you can look it up on uh, Wikipedia, all the, all the spots they found those bombs from 1944. It's called fire balloons, Japan's fire balloons. On Wikipedia and so that dispersal you're looking at didn't take into account the uranium that's only about the cesium again because I don't know why they keep doing that I guess because um, reactors are it, it, wherever the, it's code word to us anyway plutonium and uranium because reactors don't run on cesium they don't run on iodine they run on plutonium and uranium and weaponized uh, highly toxic extraordinarily harmful and then uh, what's left over, they turn into bullets, and um, which is uranium-238. And they were firing 5.5, you can look it up, look up 5.5 million bullets a month in Iraq. And you'll find the government's links to the government pages where they're talking about they got to get more bullets. Half of those came from McAllister uh, Bomb Manufacturing Facility in Oklahoma, and they only make depleted uranium. Uh, rounds like the A-10 Warthog shoots 71 uh, Nagasaki bombs worth of uranium. Uh, deplete. Uh, sorry, let me back that up. The A-10 Warthog shoots a ton and a half a minute, and a Japanese Japanese physicist at a Hamburg conference had worked it out that that was the equivalent of 71 Nagasaki bombs worth of radiation. Because uranium-238 is a totally different monster. It's it's been through the processing. So it was a chain reaction radiating. And what that does is it changes all the gammas, the betas, the alphas, the x-rays, the neutrons, completely and forever into a much more hideous creature. There's only three natural isotopes on this planet. Man has created 
uh, around 5,000 of them. Most of them are hid away because they're weaponized, secret, industrial. And we don't talk about Russia, and we're not talking about tonight um, all the other countries that are, are using weaponized isotopes and creating these. Most of these are created for uh, equations and for directed energy weapons. Uh, that's what their new favorite toy is. So the more powerful the isotope they can create, they're hoping to create more better weapons to kill each other with. And it, ultimately, they destroyed the planet because you don't need those types of isotopes to run a nuclear power reactor. Uh, this is all about the max fuel got nothing to do with making power. Uh, power is a byproduct of nuclear f uh, fusion because of it takes a million gallons a minute uh, per reactor. So there's 1,440 minutes in the day. It's a lot of water, a lot of steam, a lot of energy, right? That runs in, on the outside. It's, it's not radiated water. Uh, when it's running around that, and so um, a lot of these uh, debunker sites out there will try to use that kind of routine. Oh, it's not that water they're running over wasn't radiated, and they think people actually think like that, but that's meant to confuse the people who don't know any better. Yeah, and if you don't if you don't understand what low-level background radiation is really like, you got to look at Fallujah, where 80% of the babies are born. And Char put a couple great links yesterday on my yesterday's video that I still haven't got to, uh, but I know how she works. Um, so 80% of the babies in Fallujah, because of the low-level background radiation, they are got no mouth or eyes or extra arms and legs, and are, uh, will have a life of misery, and their loved ones will take care of them. But when their loved ones die, you know, who will take care of uh, those deformed children, right? They'll be abused and neglected and used uh, for any kind of bursaries and money that the government gives to them. Blackwater will go down there and shut up, set up shelters just to suck the money out of the system again one last time. 5.5 million bullets a month to get 11,000 Al-Qaeda. 5,000 bullets a month. 5.5 million bullets a month to get 11,000 Al-Qaeda. 5 million orphans in Afghanistan to get the same 11,000 Al-Qaeda. A couple of million widows to get that same 11,000 Al-Qaeda. 29,000 rapes a year in the military. How many are raping in the country they're occupying? 22 veterans committing suicide every day. Right? Bang bang supports the troop. Um, I've seen that routine on, over there before too. It really gets under my skin. They don't support those troops. They don't support all the victims of all the rapists in the countries that are occupied, murdered, slaughtered, destroyed. And I went down a tantrum that time, didn't I? Sorry, folks. But based solely on one reactor explosion, that peer review academic study, AP reveals in November the 30th, 2011, doubts by the nuclear experts. The fuel is no longer there. Measuring temperatures of empty cores is meaningless. Nobody knows where and how hot the melted fuel really is. That was AP, November the 30th, meltdown. And uh, that unit one we were just talking about, that's one. Uh, three times bigger than one at Chernobyl. And Chernobyl was a 30% meltdown. It was using graphite. And so all this stuff is hemorrhaging out into the ocean. And then you look at natural news, you type in Fukushima and go into their search engine, and you see they covered so much of these stories. And so it was easy to come to the conclusion that the seafloor... Now, give it... They got fish, uh, pictures of a dead, dead fish there in a circle. They shouldn't have had that there. Because this is micro um, fish, micro creatures. And so that's a little tiny misrepresentation there. That was a little overboard, and that could certainly scare people. And everybody has every right to be scared and, and worried, and as we're going to cover here tonight. Sources say 1,000 kinds of radioactive material released from Fukushima reactor. 1,000 kinds of isotopes. 1,000. That was January 29, 2012. Start off the new year with a bang. TEPCO is checking if the chain of nuclear fission had occurred again in the melted fuel at number two after temperature rises sharply. That was February 6, 2012. So that was almost a year later. They were checking to see if there was another chain reaction, see? But BC Canada seen a spike in the number of sudden infant deaths. Uh, that was July the 6, 2011. Why so many of those have come up this year, we don't know. July the 6, 2011. March, April, May, June, July. That's, that's, uh, now we got, everybody in Seattle, the California, was breathing in between 10 and 1,500 hot buckyballs per cubic meter of air. And I covered that the last couple of nights in a row, those headlines. Spike in B.C. sudden infant deaths, 
concerns coroner CBC July the 5th 2011 CBC was concerned the coroner was by March the 21st five nuclear isotopes from Fukushima was detected in Seattle iodine 131 and 132 which is uptake uh, nine times better and they say iodine 131 got a shelf life of seven days but it's actually got a shelf life of times 10 is 70 days right and uh, 132 which is what it breaks down to we absorb that nine times better it goes into your thyroid and radiates your thyroid nine times better especially children and terulium uh, cesium 134 134 eh? and the cesium 137 of course which got a 300 year ha uh, life they like to say 30 year half life but it's actually times 10 and they're not like bananas you can take a a piece of uranium the size of a banana and you can walk into every uh, supermarket on the planet with that one single piece of uranium or plutonium the size of a banana and in an hour you'll kill everybody in that supermarket and you go to another supermarket and you can do that till you kill everybody on the planet with that one chunk that's how toxic that stuff is and they put the uranium 238 in the A-10 Warthog and they fired that into everything in Iraq and Afghanistan non-stop for 10 years 5.5 million rounds a month imagine shooting that off in New York every month 5.5 million rounds you think you're going to kill a few civilians and so like we we got to have a whole different line of thinking and, and acting <laughs> right we got to treat other people like they're people we can't just continue to go out and whack uranium 238 now you're talking about serious neutrons and serious x-rays and all those uh, homes and communities and everything the children are playing in all those x-rays and neutrons and alphas and betas and gammas It's hell on earth what you've done to those people. It's just hell on earth what they got done to the ocean 400 tons a day is the one you hear all the time, but it's 600 a day from New, uh, New York Times And that was uh, covered that last night and night before of course those headlines and that 600 tons a day were a Dixie cup of it will kill, kill everybody, like a little cup of it, will kill everybody in the restaurant till the end of time, every hour till the end of time, billions of people till the end of time, for 4.5 billion years. And that's the problem that people can't wrap their mind around. They think isotope just gives it a beck wall and goes away. It don't. You hear uh, these numbers. Let me see. Um... Here's another one for you. CBC on TMI reports of enormous increase in cancer deaths, infant mortality rates doubled, and birds disappeared. Uh, that's typical radiation, right? That was for Three Mile Island, but they didn't cover much of it. Diachi Elementary. I like to see Boing Boing go down to Diachi Elementary School. There's 4 million Beckwolds per square meter of cesium in the soil. So there's just as much deer of uranium. There's just as much deer of plutonium. 4 million Beckwolds. We're in a children's schoolyard, and boing boing is there. Oh, don't worry about it. They never let. There's not much radiation got out of there. And by the time we finish this video, I think we'll all um, have a interesting experience here tonight. The experts assuming reactor two a cracked containment vessel that allowed release directly from the melted nuclear core and a radioactive plume on July 24, 2012, was reported to have blown south. The largest radioactive leaks, that's what they, they call it, the causes of the largest radioactive leaks may be found, and they were looking at number two, but this list keeps going here tonight. Hot particles bombarded the west coast of U.S. and Canada, December 27, 2011. Contaminated farms, food sources in the U.S. Um... Hang on here. Hot particles found 400 kilometers from Fukushima. Radioactivity over 40 billion Beckwolds a kilogram. I like to see uh, deep sea news go down there and hang out for five minutes. This stuff gets picked up and washed out into the ocean all the time. Also, besides all the hell that's going into the ocean, besides that ocean every single day, besides all the death plumes that went up into the death streams, got carried across the death ocean, um... Large black puddles of fallout along uh, roadsides must be well from inside the failed fuel rods. Gee, they blew up. All 40 reactors blew up, had hydrogen detonations. And I got more of that I'll cover in a few moments coming up here. How are we doing everything? I'm still coming in. 
High particles found hi Castle Mom. High particles found at two out of three US monitoring stations during April. This was November the first, two thousand eleven, a story came out, including Boston. There will be an increase of cancer, especially on the West Coast, says the new ex nuke expert. But fifteen hundred I got I got another headline there, fifteen hundred buckyballs, which is the sulfur is they sprayed salt water on the reactors when they melted down because they never had nothing else to do. And a lot of that water was came from the basements where there was uh, hundreds of uh, millions and billions of Beckwells per liter. And that got sprayed in on top of the hot cores when it was all on fire after the tsunami rolled through and destroyed all their uh, backup plants. And, you know, it brings uh, just... I'll digress for a second, like the Canadian recently had put out a video about how their reactors are safe and how they got all these trucks that could come rushing in in an emergency. Well, they have floods there. The only thing those trucks are going to do is float away, right? And you know what I'm saying? That's their backup plan was trucks going to drive in during a flood. How the hell are you going to do that? The floods they have on those planes are unbelievable, see? But anyway, hot particles found at two out of three U.S. monitoring bases, November the 1st, 2011, story, and that was discovered in April, and they never told you. It was a state secret. It still is, and that's why Boing Boing is out trying to protect that state secret, right? That's why deep sea uh, dummies, I mean news, is, and if you go look at their site, you can see they're total idiots, right? They're still trying to blame you, your global warming on your tin cans, your pop bottles, and your freaking cars, they don't want to talk about how just one big container ship with those 5,000 uh, containers on it burn more fuel or create more pollution per day than all the automobiles in Canada, you know, um, New Zealand, and Australia combined. 50 million cars per boat. Uh, now, this is um, bunker fuel. And bunker fuel is very inefficient burning. So it fills up the ocean. All these hop, these particles are going up into the environment, all the way up into the troposphere and the ionosphere. And this has been going on for a long time. There's 90,000 of these boats out there. That's the equivalent of 42 trillion people on the planet every day. 16 of those boats burn, make more pollution than all the automobiles on the planet. So what does 90,000 do? 42 trillion people on the day on the on the ocean every day, on the planet every day, burning cars. 42 trillion people were the pollution every day. And they want to demonize you, like Maggie from Boing Boing in particular, and also Deep Sea, uh, deep sea News, right? They're, they want to blame global warming on your tin cans, your pop bottles, and your cars. And they don't care about those ships, right? Because that, that's, that's money, that's corporations, that's, that's corporate personhood. Because that's what they are, they're corporate personhood. And so they're not really humans, and we shouldn't treat them as humans because they're not. They're murdering all their listeners by telling them a lie. They should just keep their mouth shut, all of them. That's the fact. Uh, let me keep going. Hot particles, once again, hot particles in April of 2011 was found at a two out of the three U.S. monitoring stations. But they turned it into a state secret. That's why, we, that's why no one was told. This was all turned into a state secret, same as Canada done. We got the models from that. We covered that extensively in the last 70 days. The IAEA had a closed door session, June the 22nd, 2011. Um, and so they, they shut down the information then. Excuse me. Idaho TV data shows a large spike in deaths, particularly infant deaths, in the 14 weeks following the Fukushima meltdown. That was January 25th, 2012. Idaho TV data shows a large spike in deaths down there, particularly infants. So deep sea nose and that boing boing and that other creature, they hate infants is obviously true because they don't want to warn people about what's coming at them. They want to ignore it. They want you to go back to sleep and suck up the buckyballs and get the cancers and they don't care about the dead Pacific Ocean. Right? They, they said, oh no, it's, nothing, it's got nothing to do with Fukushima. There's three melted cores and one of them mock fuel. It's two million times worse than any other. You look it up yourselves. It's two million times worse than any other reactor on the planet. And those reactors are uh, nine times bigger than the 30% meltdown at Fukushima at uh, Chernobyl. Chernobyl went through a million people. They were sending people out on the roof for the longest while, and they were only allowed out to 15 or 20 seconds. And then they went home. The military. In Fukushima, they're taking the most vulnerable and the marginalized of society and keeping them there for months. They're guaranteed a horrible debt, steal all their money, 
And then Boing Boing's like, yeah, we don't want that going out there. We'll just come out and attack Natural News. We'll ignore all the other... And there's a link below to Natural News' search for Fukushima. We'll ignore all of that. We'll just attack them on that one story and use it as a straw man. That's what this is all about, by the way. Right? This is the straw man where they're coming out. And, um... Uh, you don't mind trolls. We don't care about trolls. Trolls are great. Japan emits daily reactive, radioactive releases from Fukushima at 154 trillion becquels. That's disintegrations per second. This is the uranium plutonium. And the Nuclear Commission blamed a calculation error. That's why they didn't catch it. And so the new numbers are 154 trillion becquels. That was April 23rd, 2011. You can deny all of that. It's, it's hemorrhaging into the ocean and hemorrhaging over the ocean, hemorrhaging from the clouds. All you want. We're not. But every once in a while when you come out and you do stuff like that and, and you're both coming from deep sea news, the two articles below, they're coming from the same uh, mouthpieces who are cowards who got their education to protect the ocean and do the opposite. Because they're not going to have a pension. That's a fact. They're not going to have anything anymore because they kept the law alive till it was all gone and people flipped. Instead of dealing with it like a big meteorite coming at us, like we're supposed to, like we all claim we can, like Hollywood movie pretends, gets you to think you, you'll get that opportunity. No, they hide it away from you and they marginalize it and they use these sites to come out and try to bludgeon any kind of um, opposition to their... Uh, idea they don't have the right to deny us that information look at how russia in the late 1940s evacuated 7500 communities because that was the moral and ethical thing to do they, they had to do it it was the right thing to do and so 9,000 square kilometers down there now are still off because it's so toxic but they, they they'd look at this as an event and they can't do nothing about it because they're too stupid to try because there's 4,800 peer review academic studies every day locked away at Ulster, Springer, and Wiley. Well, you get a couple of boing boing articles and uh, deep sea news articles, and you're supposed to be happy with that or go watch Fox News. I don't care about none of that. I want to read those 4,800 peer review academic studies. I want to read all those, all those synopsis. I want to make up my own mind. We paid for it, we paid for the universities, our loved ones are in there producing it. But we don't get an option. We don't get a chance. We don't even, we're not even allowed to uh, talk about it once you produce it. And that's our legacy for our universities. We pour all that money, billions of dollars every year into all the universities. And they do these peer review academic studies at three a minute. That's like a thousand pages. 4,800 a day. If we were to take just one single day and put it to work on radiation, all 4,800 new professors today that are ready to go for another peer review study, not, not to mention the moral, and the next day, 4,800 professors that are ready to go do another and their students and the universities that we pay for, the equipment we pay for, the lights we pay for, the power we pay for, the kids' lunches we pack, and we're not allowed to read it. They're not allowed to tell us about it. It's locked away only for a handful of corporations. That's progression. That we, buying, buying is going to be our enlightenment because we can't get access to that or that deep sea news is supposed to be something of value or that other dummy, uh, Guardian LV, Fukushima radiation fallout rumors debunked. You didn't debunk it, boy. You didn't even try. I, I can spend 10 minutes and just rip you to pieces and you'll be an idiot for the rest of your life, but I'd rather try to educate you a little bit because I know how arrogant you are by reading your article, how you, you misuse... You won't use the one that I got up there. You won't use any of the peer review studies. You use that one of the tsunami, just like all the other dummies out there, just like D-News done, just like all the other useful idiots are doing. And you're, you're poisoning your own child. You're poisoning your father, your mothers, your brothers, your sisters, your wives, all your friends. Do you think that you went to work that day and never got no buckyballs? Do you really think that at Boing Boing? Do you think that, Maggie? Do you really believe you didn't suck in the, the buckyballs that your loved ones weren't sucking it in too? Because you didn't tell them to get out of the way of the jet stream? Because you're supposed to be the one they trust? Oh, so Maggie said, there's no harm. I'll go out and plant some more vegetables in my uranium and plutonium garden. Because that's what you got. Because you keep your mouth shut, hoping you're going to get somewhere in the future. You got nothing. Boing Boing is finished. 
This is all going to go to shit because people were starved for information so long they're going to be panicking. We need to disseminate it like it was a meteorite coming at us and be cool and calm, collect about it and deal with it and go to work on it and try to solve it. Not marginalize it and, you know, you can't avoid a dead Pacific Ocean. You can't avoid what happened to the Philippines. 7,000 islands in those archipelagos are destroyed. 44 provinces. 200 miles sustained winds for four hours. Look up F4 tornadoes. They last a minute over your head and maybe go six miles. This thing never stopped till I got to Vietnam. And even then it was hammering away at 150 miles an hour. You don't even want to be in that stuff. But the air in the Philippines was projectiles. Because those two typhoons converged over Japan and picked up all these radioactive isotopes in front of those schools. In front of those reactors all over that country. As I'm going to show you here. This was back uh, September the 21st, 2011. Melted fuel rods estimated to be 12 meters underground. Reactor number one to three to be 100 feet deep in a year. So at 100 feet down is the bedrock. And the bedrock exists because the rivers have washed away it over millenniums down to the bedrock. And they brought in 100 foot of topsoil on top of that and then they built Fukushima. And so that was their old shit plan. Was the rods and the coriums and everything would end up down on the bedrock. And that um, the river will flush that out into the ocean. It's the same one for every nuclear plant. That's their old shit plan. Get it out of the way. You can't put it in the sarcophagus like they're... They got a license that says they're supposed to put it in the sarcophagus. They haven't even tried to build one. They can't build one. You can't build something to contain this. That's why they dump it in the ocean constantly. And then they use Boing Boing and Deep Sea News and everybody else to come out and say, Oh, it's a big ocean. You know, it's, it's, it's diluting like a banana. But it disperses. And radioisotope doesn't go away and it just keeps pulsing at incredible beats, incredibly uh, damaging. And think about, once again, if you took a, a fish tank, a salt water, and you took a little drop of that salt water and put it on a microscope, millions of animals, you drop an isotope in that fish tank and, they, and all those little creatures will be dead in no time at all. And that isotope you can put it in a fish tank after fish tank after fish tank after fish tank after fish tank and it'll fry everything in there in no time at all. And that's what I mean by destroying the ability of the ocean to make oxygen. And not only that, then the fish are bioaccumulating it. And it's going up the food chain. And, uh, you know, the birds are eating that. That stuff is evaporating into, also into the clouds and getting carried around the continents by hundreds of thousands of miles. And, I mean, we've got to come up with technology to survive it and deal with it. And also deal with the likes of the uh, Philippines. Those 200 mile an hour winds, that's because of radiation. Radiation is energy. It's the purest of energy. It's worse than the hot water, I can assure you. Beyond imagination. It's energy. It's like blowing, using a big fan and blowing on a cloud constantly or blowing on your hair with a 5,000 watt fan. Think of that one. Because the cloud, uh, the typhoons are full of energy, full of radiation itself. That fueled it up to 200 miles an hour. We've, that shouldn't even exist on Earth. That should only exist on Mars. Seriously. And Britain's got its own problems. It's got cell fuel down there with 8 million liters a day coming out of the ocean. And see, so Boing Boing and, and uh, Deep Sea News, not going to take none of that into account, but go over to Natural News, you'll find lots of this, right? Go, go to Natural News and type in Fukushima and you'll find tons of it. You won't find the fluff and the nonsense and the bullshit and the lies, the outright, outrageous murdering lies like Maggie done over there where if you see a link on Facebook or you see a link on Twitter, don't click it. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, run over to Deep Sea News and get indoctrinated by the dummy machine, by the cowards who are trying to keep their pension. That's a think tank, right? That's a pro-nuclear think tank, both of them. They're cowards. They're traitors to humanity, what they're doing there. You should keep their mouth shut. They know what they're saying. See, that's the problem. That's why I say that. Let me keep going with some of these numbers for you because nobody's yelling at me when my vocals are screwed up because the first 10 minutes is horrible. That was a nightmare again tonight. I don't know how I managed to get back on track. Japan Prime Minister study setting up alternative capital away from Tokyo, May the 1st, 2011, March, April, May. So two months later, the NHK is reporting that at Sunday's Upper House Budget Committee meeting, Japan Prime Minister Kan suggested they will study the possibility of setting up an alternative capital to take over Tokyo's role in an emergency. Right? 300,000 equals of CC-137 per square meter all over Tokyo. I like to see Boing Boing go down to Tokyo, let alone Fukushima, or go uh, 
east of Fukushima, because the prevailing winds are from the west, and that's where they want to put the new capital, 250 miles uh, actually west of Tokyo. Tokyo is contaminated all the way to Fukushima against the prevailing winds from the typhoons picking it all up. That's great. That's, you know, I covered that last night night before. Melted fuels may have sunk to the ground. We now ha- are head-to-head with a situation that mankind has never faced before. This was September the 9th, 2011. Boing Boing is not going to refer to any stuff like that because that will tear everybody's story apart. See? Because it brings to reality that you know, they, they always refer to Chernobyl. But look at uh, what happened in Russia in 19, late 1948 or 49. 7,500 communities had to be evacuated. 7,500, 9,000 square miles. Because there are better people than Boing Boing. There are better people than Deep Sea News. Deep, they should Deep Six that news is what they should really do with it. And uh, Co- uh, Kyoto, a U professor, a university professor, said, I always argue that containment is broken. Uh, this is December the 1st, 2011. This is said of Japan itself. He said the melted fuel may already be 40 feet underground. And uh, Lady Gaga promised to promote Japan as a safe destination. See, she's like, uh, boing, boing. She's like, um, she's like Guardian, and she's like Deep Sea News. And deep sea news, no, no, no dead fish, just dead monkfish, right? Fables. That's what they like to do, all these little fables. You go over to the site, you should go and look at their site, it's just ridiculously stupid. Lady Gaga should go down there to that primary school where there's th- uh, millions of Beckwells per square meter and sit there and hang out with the kids all day long and tell us how that rectal cancer is working for us in a couple of years. Because this kind of radiation will definitely mess your head up real fast. You breathe in these hot particles like they've done in Seattle, like they've done in California, like they've done in Canada in April and May of 2011, where there's 1,501 buckyballs per cubic meter of air. So if you're walking down the road, unless all the, the buckyballs goes over to the other side of that cubic meter, you're... And how many buckyballs do you need to sequester into your lungs again? Oh, gee, I don't know, one. And I got a story about that coming up. 120 billion Beckwells of plutonium, 7.6 trillion Beckwells of Neptunian, which converts over to plutonium after, in the first 100 hours. That's what you were breeding three days later because of the jet streams. And because that went up in the ionosphere and the troposphere and the stratosphere and everywhere else. Because these were, and there's a peer review study below about this, and there's a couple of them out there, you can look for more. Um... So the salt water, when you spray it on, it creates these, uh, with the other, uh, the thousand other isotopes, it creates these spherical shapes with, say, 60 joins. And in the center of it, uh, you can in- it actually ingests like a uranium or plutonium particle, and it becomes its own little nuclear engine. That's the buckyballs we're talking about, and there's a link below to that, to the peer review studies about it. So plutonium-238, 239, 240, 241... 7.6 trillion and 120 billion per second, every second, till the end of time. Or for plutonium, next 24,000 years, 240,000 years because time's 10, right? And 45 billion years because it's uranium. See, every time you hear cesium, every time you hear iodine, that's actually code word for plutonium and uranium because that's what reactors are made of, okay? And... That's the distraction and the misinformation. But plutonium-238, 239, 240, and plutonium-241, you don't hear that very often. Americium, you don't hear very much. It also, um, the Neptunium-239, you don't hear that very often. The 1.2 trillion Beckwell is 10 times higher than originally reported. You don't hear that from Boing Boing. You don't hear from that deep sea news. Large quality Neptunium-239 flew at least 60 kilometers from Fukushima. September 13, 2011, there's another story, and decays in the plutonium-239. So a large quality of neptunium. So there's fission and fusion going on, chain reaction, otherwise you don't see that stuff. How are we doing? And so don't you eat the yellow snow, and I got the links below because uh, Deep Sea News, actually one of their banners was snowflakes, great big snowflakes. And I got that imported, but if I touch it, you can't hear me anymore. Because that's, I don't know what's, it took me 10 minutes to get on, get the stream to work tonight because Google hates us. They don't hate us too much, I suppose, but. 
A peer review study shows 14,000 U.S. deaths from Fukushima. That was December 22, 2011. And another one is um, on the same page is uh, infants' deaths up in B.C., Canada after Fukushima collaborates a U.S. study, which is the one I read to you first. That was December 22, both of those published. So there's a rise in infant mortality, morality, for Boing Boing and Deep Sea News. And this other one I don't really care about, Guardian OIV. Uh, it's just that they don't put any factual information in there. They don't put, you know, these Boing Boing and the Deep Sea News, um, and Guardian. They didn't put anything factual in there. They made stuff up. Right? They showed you pictures that are inappropriate, not necessary, and is meant to, to distract you. And uh, it's just regurgitating what some other people like D-News try to do. Remember, I've done a whole hour about those people. And um, before I lose track of what I'm saying here, we're still going strong. Let's run. we got another 10 minutes. Good to go. Let's keep going. Metallic taste and mouth now being reported in Japan and U.S. West Coast is a telltale sign of radiation exposure, June 13, 2011. Remember that earthquake, October 25th? And we had that farmer getting on the coastline here? Uh, that's because the jet streams carry that stuff over. Because, right, the, the melted cores all around it, the buildings themselves, they put these pretty little uh, Kevlar sarcophagus kind of things, you know, like tarp, right? Kevlar tarp over them. And they're rectangular, uh, but they're venting constantly because you can't get inside of those buildings for a couple of hundred years. You can't get inside of Unit 4 for a couple of hundred years, right? We tore that, that video up, how they showed us this brand new interior, and they said it was Unit 4. That's not Unit 4. See, they're lying all the time. Hot particles from Japan to Seattle virtually undetectable when inhaled or swallowed. Mind-boggling. Far more cesium released from Fukushima than previously thought, said Japanese government agency. 40,000 trillion becquels estimated. And these numbers keep keep going higher and higher. That's February 29, 2012. Far more cesium. Far, well, cesium is code word for plutonium uranium, but cesium's got a 300-year uh, life. They want to tell you it's got a 30-year half-life, but you got to multiply everything by 10 because it breaks down in radioactive isotopes. Boing Boing's not going to tell you any of that stuff. Uh, leakage from reactor number four indicates fuel is inside. That was uh, February 6, 2012. And Fukushima Diary is attacked every 15 minutes. It has to run on four different servers. Because Fukushima uh, Diary, they're inside. I don't mention them enough. i got to get his link below. They're nice. It's really a good site. Really good people. Radioactive thorium detected 100 kilometers from Fukushima meltdown. I would see Boing Boing go down there and hang out for a day. <laughs> hey? New TEPCO analysts showed 94% of the nuclear fuel melted in reactor number 3, which is the MOX fuel, 2 million times more deadly than any other reactor on the planet, May 26, 2011. And like we covered last night and the night before, they, they kept that information for a couple of months or a month and a half or whatever before they released it. Americans knew. Americans. Nuclear fuel in reactor 1 melted after full exposure. That was May 12, 2011. All melted, all gone you know, down into the earth, and all those rods that were in the pools on the roof of it, because each pond has 1,535 um, bundles, and each bundle has 80 rods in it. They like to keep the numbers low, but that's the numbers. So that's 122,000 rods. And one of those rods will kill all the mammals on the planet after it killed all the humans. So there's 121,000 rods in the, paw, in the pond, 121,000 rods. One fall down, you shoot it to the moon. And you kill any possibility of a future life on the moon. Yeah, we got to stop people from getting in space. These creatures don't deserve to go into space. That's what all these isotopes are about, of making space engines and space weapons. And um, our legacy should be they don't go to another planet ever. Because you know, they'll just destroy wherever they go to, like they got done here. This, this, this nuclear... I mean, Germany produces 50% of electricity... The equivalent of 20, uh, 20 nuclear reactors with solar power during the midday sun. They don't even try, see? All the countries out there, they need these isotopes. Nuclear power plants is nothing about power. It's like 3% of the power out there. It's nothing to do with power. It's all about, with power is a byproduct of all the, the water you got to run over to cool these things down so you can make your weaponized isotopes. Right? And then you use isotopes to infiltrate it into all your uh, lives. 
they, they took away the ability of you to doctors to cure to the natural cures. I mean, like turmeric got 700 peer review stomach uh, studies. Why would you use radiation to cure a radiation illness? It's the stupidest thing imaginable. That's why you lose all your hair. It's because the radiation kills all the cells, and if one survives, well, the cancer comes back. DCA below, there's a link below to the peer review repeatedly study, reduced all tumors by 30%, even the hard ones, by 30% or 70% in three weeks. It eradicates the cancer and the ability of it to grow. That's real. It's been tested on many exotic diseases. It's been academically peer-reviewed many times. Boing, boing, don't care about that. They want you to take your radiation, $50,000 a pop for the corporation. Gotta like it. Gotta like it, man. Quite the scam. Murder you, make you liquidate all your assets, and then the lawyers and the vultures and the creatures like Boing, Boing and Deep Sea News, which is... That's horrible what they're trying to do. They're murdering people, right? These are murderers. That's what they are. They're 100% murderers. They don't want to tell the truth. They want to play a game to fit in. So they get invited to a few parties and they get a mention on a Twitter. And that's kind of interesting how um, that creature Maggie from Boing Boing had said, if you ever see a link on your Facebook or your Twitter about Fukushima, don't click it. Whoa, don't click it. Go running over to DC News or to... Deep Sea News. She never mentions YouTube, right? The biggest video sharing site on the planet because Google got the patent on buffering videos and so we're all stuck with it. And sh people will find all kinds of stuff on Fukushima. They'll never go back to Boing Boing. They'll never go back to Deep Sea News. Why would you go to Deep Sea News anyway? Look at it. Just go look at it. It's retarded. Why would you even go to that? There's 4,800 peer review academic studies every day. Would you rather read that? Or would you rather read these bunch of creatures that are murdering people because they can't tell you the stuff I'm telling you tonight. They can't They can't even go look at it themselves. they got to live in this little tiny compartmentalized you know, in-crowd world they're trying to fit into. They'll never fit into because that world don't exist anymore. They destroyed the Pacific Ocean. It's just, it's going to take a few years for people to realize it. The whistleblower reported detection of plutonium and Neptunia in 239 fire from the plant had their TV show canceled. August 17, 2011. Let me run through a couple of more fast. Rain out of hot particles from radioactive clouds continue for another year, not just in the Pacific Northwest. These particles were found all over Canada, the United States. In the air, in a cubic meter of air, they took samples and done studies about it. We got links below to all kinds of studies that governments have done about it. Everybody else, and universities, and professors. You go over to E&E &E News and check it. And, you'll f and just type in uh, report, study research type in those and and fukushima and look what you got you can't read it in a month that's been done on it but it's all hid away from you it's all kept quiet boing boing is never going to recite it deep sea news ain't going to recite it they're out of a job they don't got no pension no more and they murdered a whole bunch of people along the way right they're no different than a troll uh from the nuclear pr firms out there saying it's like a banana they're literally no no different um, this one here, folks, May the 17th, reactor number one fuel rods completely melted amidst TEPCO, right? But we don't find out until about five or six months ago, or it don't trickle down to us, and boing boing, they ain't gonna never trickle it down to their listers. No, it's all good, it's all good, it's that crazy national news. Japan considered moving capital away from Tokyo, April of 14, 2011, once again, that's another story, right? They want to move 250 miles away, keep all the slaves in Tokyo and 300 thousand beckwells per square meter paying taxes and liquidating their assets to pay for their children's medical gmo right gmo genetically modified food has all the potassium magnesium iron calcium engineered out and it has formaldehyde which is a uh, toxin dioxin and glossophates which stops you from intaking and uptaking nutrients and that's why you can't eat any gmo with a meal because you won't be able to take up the nutrients and you need to purge it from your system before you can start taking up nutrients. You can't have it anywhere in your home. Everything in the corner shops is GMO. Everything you drink from a pop bottle is GMO. Everything at the supermarket, 85% of it is GMO. Most of the other stuff is contaminated with GMO. Or glossophates and formaldehydes and pesticides and dioxins and toxins that are supposed to be banned. 
I mean, they chemtrailed Vietnam for nine years with the Axon. Same company. Killed the entire ocean right around that whole coastline. Destroyed everything. Destroyed the entire country. Knocked the leave off every tree in that country for nine years. But uh, Maggie would probably go down and pick up one of those deformed children and uh, and not even not even care. Right? She don't care. Because that's coming to children all over the world because of the Fukushima, all the clouds picking that radiation up, all those buckyballs getting transported. But the university is never, ever trying to solve any of these issues by never looking at it, by never dealing with it. They think that big meteorite called Fukushima coming at us full steam ahead is not going to impact this planet. It's not going to affect this planet. Hasn't affected this planet. Hasn't killed people. Remember the article, look up the article, 5,000 Fukushima workers at uh, Nagasaki Hospital had ingested hot particles. Seriously hot particles. 5,000 had to go to the hospital from Fukushima that worked at Fukushima. Remember the people that went up in Chernobyl and only worked for 15 to 20 seconds and then went home and never went on a radiation site again. And Fukushima has the Yakuza's bringing in the homeless and the destitute and victimizing them and leaving them to suffer and die till the end of time. Because nobody speaks up. Because the people with the power like any influences, like Boing Boing and Deep Sea News and that other creature, Guardian, who comes out, IV, and comes out and says, Fukushima radiation fallout rumors debunked and doesn't use anything like I showed you tonight. Never even tried and done the complete opposite. I hope they get theirs. I really do. That's why I'm here tonight to make this video. And, you know, I was intending to come here and win them over, but uh, in the last couple of hours, as I looked over and reread through everything, and I see how they manipulate it. I realized that stuff could never happen. They don't have emotions, okay? They lack that. That's why they got the job. That's why they're going to have the money. But it's not going to be no good to them. It's not going to save them. It's not going to be no help to them. Right? They'll go get their chemotherapy treatment because they don't know any better. They're too stupid to work it out on their own. And they like writing two paragraphs and causing a divide or demonization. Because if you went over to Natural News right now and you type in Fukushima and you try to read through everything they got there and all the links they link up to, you'll find out they were right in saying that the dead sea life off that California was most likely, certainly should be contributed to Fukushima. There is no lack of evidence. The only lack is research by Boing Boing, Guardian, and of course, Deep Sea, D Deep Six News. So let's Deep Six them. I'll have to come back in, read all the comments after. And uh, that's my favorite part of the night, actually. I get soulless in that. Uh, I see the arguments, the fights, the communications, the camaraderie, and the hounds of Fukushima. Released is a good thing. It's, that's why I sleep so good at night. I don't need to fabricate, or misrepresent it, or make anything up. All I need to do is read the headlines and help you understand it and digest it a little bit. And you come to your own conclusions and do your own research and do the right thing and get out of the way of the jet streams and get off the Pacific Rim and hope that what happened to the Philippines doesn't happen anywhere on this planet again ever. That's the way I feel anyway. I know it's not true, but we'll catch you folks tomorrow night for another rock and sock em, block em, rock and roll em stuff. Chummy, we'll do it again. And of course, not going to get off that easy. Got a sign out. Here we go. Got a sign back in before it's going to let me offline, off the stream. And now I get to say goodbye and thank you. I'm looking forward to your comments. I didn't want to go more than an hour, hour and six minutes. We had a six, seven minute delay. I'll come in and put a um, message at the beginning of the video right away for everybody so you don't get stuck on that. Take care. See you tomorrow night, folks.